dollars that they're seeing. That's more people they can hire just to take in the income that we're bringing in. I also take approximately 30 cars a month to 15 cars a month to Big Old Tires because they go through every vehicle I buy, they go in and do a second inspection on it. If the car does not pass Big Old Tires, I immediately take the car and we run it back through the auction and we get away from garbage. So we also use, there's two mechanic shops on the other side of the bridge. And they're small, they're small lot, I mean, mechanics. We send approximately five just clean cars there a month. So it's not just affecting us, it's affecting other businesses here. And I'm, I can understand that y'all are worried about what might come in the future. But right now, in this economy time, and as hard as things are for people, right now, I'm not adding steaks to people's table, but maybe a loaf of bread, you know, off of the extra business we have and the consistent amount of business. And that's all I have to say, and I thank y'all. Thank you. Any more comments from the public? How you guys doing? My name is Brian Keeney. I'm here. I live in Aspen Creek, right there off 186th Street, the subdivision just north of this area. Uh, our biggest concern is going to be, and I'm not looking to put anybody out of business by any means. Our thing is, again, goes back to the aesthetics portion of it, um, and it being located with a liquor store, gas station, all of it combined there. If you could find a different lot somewhere else, like the, the program here says, maybe someplace more industrial off the beaten path so it's not right in the line of sight. I've talked to many of my neighbors, not only in Plum Creek, but Evergreen Park, uh, Aspen Creek, who would be willing to go into a petition if it need be to, you know, again, not to disrupt this man's business, but to make the business move somewhere else away from this gas station, liquor store type area. We've already got the intermodal we're worried about making that, you know, our house price is going down with that. Something else like this, it's just something else that we have to be concerned about, so. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any more comments from the audience? Okay. I move that we close the public hearing. Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Copeland, second by, seconded by Commissioner <coughs> Manley to close the public hearing. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Public hearing is now closed. How would uh, council like to proceed? Do we have discussion, questions? Uh, my burning question is how did this get approved? Why did we think it was zone C2 or C3 when it was zone Z2? Mr. Copeland, uh, there are a couple things that happened uh, back in September, I believe it was. Um, in order for someone to have an, uh, a license to sell cars in the state of Kansas, they have to have a signature or a, an approval of a local zoning official saying that the property where they're selling the cars is, is allow, uh, allows for that use. The second step is that it requires something called a land use permit. Um, so. I was, I was not here at that time, but my understanding of what happened is uh, they came in, they asked for the um, zoning, and there was a mistake made when looking at the map, um, and uh, it was thought that the property was on C3 instead of C2. That led to the issuance of a land use permit, a short-term land use permit. Keep in mind that, and there is a letter that explains this, it's attached to the staff report. The, at that time, the short-term land use permit was issued with a, a six-month period, an expiration of March 23rd, I believe it is. And so uh, the permit that was issued was a short-term permit. Thank you. But why? Why were we under the impression it was already C3? I think it was just a matter of making a mistake and looking at the map. 
and uh, since that time uh, we've we've taken measures to, to be more careful about that in looking at the map uh, there are really two sources of the zoning information one is the Ames map system that's that's uh, managed by the county maintained by the county and also our own zoning map and uh, when I look around the office the zoning maps are pretty small and it's difficult to to look up the zoning just by looking at the map so I think that's the source of the error in terms of the zoning keep in mind it was not just the zoning it was also the land use permit that had a sh had an expiration date on it so um, I think there was some misunderstanding perhaps about that but it does state that on the land use permit that was issued in September that it would expire in March. Um, so, okay, I, I don't want to hog a lot of time here, but let me just say for the record, if I think if this project had come in and that the, this was a, an empty lot um, and somebody wanted to put a, or let, let's say it was zone C3, um, and someone wanted to put a car lot on with a gas station and liquor store, I would not be in favor of it. That being said, if these folks, again, they're under the impression they came to the city, so where you go to ask these questions, they came to the city, they were told it was zone C3, which this would be a conforming use. Um, if, if they had built a structure, <laughs> what would we be talking about now? I mean, they've invested Obviously, they've invested some money in inventory, but they would have invested in, in improvements to the land. Um, I, I, I really struggle with this. I don't like it. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't like the fact that there are three businesses on one lot, but I don't see how we, in good conscience, can tell these folks who, who were given wrong information that they can no longer have their business on this property. I mean, I, I came in here tonight set to to be against this, and, and I, I can't be now. I mean, I, I think this is a real uh, a, a real big problem. I mean, he, this, this man has invested time, money, effort. He has employees. He's paying payroll tax. He's paying Social Security. He's, you know, as a business owner, I understand what he's going through. Um, and it's unfortunate that, that he, you know, he started this under false pretense. I, 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 I'm not going to vote to deny it. I have a question for my other commissioners here. Um, looking at the difference between C2 and C3, do you guys see a big difference between a new car lot and a used car lot? Because that's the only difference in the two regulations. One says that new cars are allowed by right. In C3, it's new and used. So that is something I think that we need to take in consideration. I know that we cannot change the zoning and stuff, but that is something that we can at least ask or have looked into because that's the only difference between the C2 and the C3 is where it says new and used versus just new. Do you guys have comments on that? Well, I, I think that <coughs> part of the what's been raised here is not we're not just talking about vehicles. Um, I think we're talking about the overall use of the property because we're not turning the entire this entire area that's that's up for subject for the rezoning because that's exactly really kind of what we're discussing is the rezoning for this entire area we're you know we're talking about what's going to be the future use for the land not just you, you know new and used cars so I think that's really kind of more what we're talking about but if the word used was in C2 then it could be a special use permit instead of rezoning I have the issue with the rezoning of that piece but allowing a special use permit would be a different look at it so that's why I'm asking that question between those two can we, take, can we take a look at that is it is it special use permit for new mm -hmm. C2 yes yeah so that's, a, that's how I read it uh, right so, so it would so still be before us the only, the only thing I would add to that would be <coughs> if it were a special use permit coming to us to put a new car lot on this pro on this property which is already uh, a gas station and a liquor store and a convenience store and what's the size of the property? Right here on the zoning request. 